Hello, thank you for joining our third Center for Victim Research Ask Me Anything live session. This session will focus on the Center for Victim Research Library and Research to Practice collaborations. A few introductory comments. The Center for Victim Research is funded through an Office for Victims of Crime grant, but everything presented here today is my opinion. And speaking of me, my name is Laura Pulse. I'm the research librarian on the Center for Victim Research Project. We're hosting these sessions today because September is Library Card Sign-Up Month. I hope that while you're watching this, um, this presentation, this short demo, you'll consider registering for the CVR Library Full Collection, which is available for Victims of Crime Act funded agencies. The CVR provides you with no cost access to subscription journals and databases that are all relevant to victim services. And a few of the titles that we have access to are listed there. We have many more. You can visit victimresearch.org to register. And then as you can see on this slide, there's a little button that you would select VOCA funded agency user and enter your VOCA grant number. Even if you don't register, you can still use CVR's public collection, which is what we'll be looking at today. The public collection includes more than 1,400 free materials that are all cataloged and tagged, so you only have to search in one place to find relevant research about victim services. During this demonstration, we're going to be using the Center for Victim Research Library to locate reports about research to practice collaborations. We'll start by looking at a few different tools on CVR's website that can help practitioners and researchers work together. And we'll also look at a couple um, CVR funded and supported research to practice collaborations. Then we'll get to the exciting part of trying out the library and finding reports and papers that can come from these research to practice collaborations. So we'll have that live demo going. And then we'll leave some time at the end for questions. Um, I'm also joined by a couple of my colleagues on the Center for Victim Research. So I'll also be helping describe how the Center for Victim Research supports research and, pra research and practice collaborations in the field. All right, I'm going to switch now to sharing my screen. So we're going to start on victimresearch.org. And the first page I'd like to look at is under tools and working together. The resources on this page um, help explain the importance of victim researchers and practitioners working together for conducting research and evaluations, um, all with the goal of hoping to increase and the understanding of what are outcomes for victims and what are victims' needs and how can programs Im improve. Um, by partnering together, researchers and practitioners can divide up the work, divide up the work, they can share expertise and experiences, and build context together. Um, some kinds of some kinds of questions that might come out of um, working together include the kinds of research questions that are meaningful to a program. Um, I know sometimes practitioners can feel like a lot of the research is not something concrete that a program can, that they want to know right now, something that they can act on right now. Um, and researchers can help work with practitioners to identify what those research questions are and what are the best approaches to actually study those questions. Researchers can also help with interpreting data and practitioners bring a lot of the deep community and victimization and trauma knowledge. Um, so this page is really a great foundation for helping you get started. Um, there's some terms you can familiar, familiarize yourself with um, and also some tools and trainings to build a really strong foundation in a collaboration. We also have um, templates for creating an agreement for working together, which can be really valuable just having a very clear understanding of what each party is responsible for. Um, these kinds of relationships and partnerships obviously take a lot of time and respect and shared resources, so this can be a really good place to start your planning. And the other page we wanted to look at before we search the library relates to the collaborations that CVR has supported. The Center for Victim Research believes so strongly in research and practice collaborations that we've done a couple mini grants um, that give, give these partners um, a little bit of money and time to focus on a specific question that matters for their communities. Um, we have two kinds of grants. Uh, mini grants, the VOCA-SAC partnerships, 
that are collaborations between the State Victims of Crime Act or VOCA administrators and Statistical Analysis Centers or, each, or SACs. Um, you can see the different state reports here. We had 2018 and 2019 cohorts. We also funded victim to research practice fellowship projects. And these were local or tribal level partnership teams. So it wasn't necessarily on the, it wasn't on the state level, but it was still looking at a meaningful question for those groups. And I did want to give my colleagues um, some time to talk about these different partnerships as well, since they worked really closely with the projects. Um, some really exciting things from these projects is that it can be really difficult to find um, just a little bit of funding to look at a very specific research question um, over a short period of time. So that's part of the goal for these different partnerships. Um, I don't know, Mallory or Bailey, if you'd like to talk a little bit about um, these partnerships. Bailey, would you like to start with the VOCA-SAC partnerships? Sure. So, um, yeah, this is Bailey Merrifield. I helped oversee the two years of the VOCA SAC um, partnership sub awards that we awarded. Um, so, we saw a lot of variety with these partnerships everything from uh, statewide service gap and needs assessments to evaluation work with specific programs in the state. Uh, actively involving the VOCA administrators in this work really helps make the results valuable to statewide planning efforts for victims of crime. Uh, many partnerships actually expressed that they had worked in the same building for years but had never collaborated before. Um, so we're seeing a lot of partnerships turn into long-term collaboration efforts, which is great. Uh, as we wrap up the second round here, we have final reports forthcoming. A couple to look forward to uh, um, is one of looking at evaluation work with wraparound networks for victim legal services. And another example is evaluation, um, of developing evaluation framework for domestic violence housing. Great, thank you, Bailey. Um, Mallory, would you like to say a couple comments about the Research to Practice Fellowships? I'd be glad to, thanks, Laura. Uh, hi, this is Mallory Dusenberry. I'm a uh, project manager for CBR at the Urban Institute where we oversee the local research to practice fellowships. Um, much like the state level partnerships, our local R2P fellowships also featured a rich and very wide range of research projects uh, that I personally think are all super interesting. Um, of the 15 projects over these two years, uh, four focused on sexual violence, three each on domestic violence or general victimization, two on child abuse, and one each on homicide co-victimization, uh, general violence, and trafficking. Um, the diversity there also included the service setting of focus, which ranged from traditional victim service providers to hospitals to courts and beyond, um, as well as the population studied, whether it was rural and tribal communities, transgender victims, or students. Um, so some of these fellowships serve to fill gaps in research needed between uh, long-term established partners, um, either at the victim service agency or at the, at the research level, uh, whereas other fellowships allowed for researchers and practitioners to build entirely new relationships um, that are hopefully going to be lasting for a long time in the future. Um, and also like the VOCA SAC partnerships, we and these teams are seeing these fellowships as jumping off points for ongoing efforts and significant impacts in their organizations and communities. So really, as Laura mentioned, using these small grants to, um, to fill those, those critical gaps that are difficult to find the time and funding and partnerships to do so, um, and really setting the foundation for, uh, for ongoing work and using this as a springboard for these relationships and, and projects in the future. So I highly encourage everyone to check out the final report from the first cohort and to stay tuned for the final findings from our current cohort. Great. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you, Bailey. It's really, really exciting to see the results from some of these and just what people have learned from each other. Um, and you can find all of these reports on this page, and they'll also be in the CVR library. Um, I also think that reading these reports can be really useful if 
um, you or your program are not currently ready to start a partnership, you can still learn from how other, uh, um, other partners have approached the resource and the time that they needed, the lessons learned, um, and also what, what their actual research outcomes or statistics are. Some of the, um, the topical information may still be useful for you to use in your own program. Um, or planning your outreach or using some of that research in your funding proposals. So with that, let's go to the library and find some more reports about research to practice partnerships. So the library is accessible here at this top link from the menu. And we have the menu here, researching the public collection. So those are again, 1,400 open access free materials that all relate in some way to victim services and victimization and research. Um, and before I, actually, before I start searching, I usually try and spend a little time thinking about what are the phrases that relate to my topic. A lot of the time, a research question has a couple different ideas all combined. Um, so when I'm thinking of um, these research to practice fellowships, I know right away one of the things to do um, is to search for those fellowship reports if I want to see all of them in one list. So, or, so looking for the victim to, victim research to practice fellowship projects or the VOCA SAC partnerships, and then hitting enter after typing in my search terms. And I'm able to see reports here you can also try some broader terms, not just focused on um, the Center for Victim Research funded projects. So let's try another search. And I'm going to look for research into practice um, or researcher practitioner or participatory research or action research. And we'll have a tip sheet that, have, that has a couple of these different suggested terms to help you get started. And you may have noticed that when I'm adding the or between the terms, that's letting the CDR library know that either of these terms is acceptable for me. I want either of those terms, any of these synonyms, to show up in my results. And you can see in the results that your search terms will be bolded, which helps you see why this, why this report, why this um, article was included. You can also use magnifying glass and learn a little bit more about that particular report. Or click on the title if you want to open more background information and see the whole abstract. And then if you want to open the report, there's the access URL down here or on the results page, you can use view document. Another aspect of the CVR library that can be helpful are using these filters that are on the left-hand side. You can change the date if you're interested in things that only came out in the last couple of years. There are also subjects, so you can start as broadly as you like in the search box. You can just type in victim research and see what you get and then use some of these subjects on the left-hand side to really refine your results and find exactly what you're looking for. So you can select a number of those and then update your results so you have even fewer items to look through. Another feature I wanted to demonstrate was being able to look up reports by an author's name. You um, might have met somebody at a conference or seen a presenter and you might be interested in additional research that they have. Uh, or while you're doing research on a topic, you might notice um, an author who comes up multiple times. And so if you're thinking about looking for somebody that could be a researcher partner for you, you might want to read a couple more reports that they've put together to see what kind of match you, you would make, um, what kinds of research methods they have. So 
I've seen um, Dr. Christine Murray here, so I'm going to do Murray. And then from this drop-down menu, select author. So now I should just be searching for articles that have Murray as the author. So I see a few results here. Like I said, this can be a good way to perhaps find um, a relevant partner, identify somebody who, who has the research expertise you're looking for, um, and also get a sense of what their approaches are and if your, um, your project might be a good match. When you have identified somebody that you might want to partner with, you can use another tool that CDR has. So now we're back on the victimresearch.org website. And on our Connect drop-down menu, you can select Find a Partner. And this will bring you to our researcher directory. Um, our researcher directory is a really special collection of people who have indicated that they would like to work with practitioners and service providers to um, study, evaluate, um, form research questions that would be really useful for victim service providers and practitioners and advocates. And you can search our directory in a couple different ways. You can either filter by your state, so if you're looking for somebody who is closer by, um, maybe is in the time, same time zone or that you might be able to meet with in person, you can filter that way. You can also use the subjects here, so finding people that have expertise and experience studying um, certain types of victimization, victimization and people who come from certain communities, or the type of research expertise that you're interested in. I recommend starting off a little, a little more broadly. Um, if you select a number of these, it might um, might get you some small results or not the results you're looking for. So we can just start off. I'm going to clear the state version. And then you would hit search at the bottom and see who are the researchers who have identified that research experience. And if you open their profile, it'll also allow you to email the person directly and read a little bit more about their background and how they how they approach research and why they're interested um, in these topics. CVR is also, helping, also happy to connect you with um, researchers. I know that I've uh, made some connections sometimes working with people who've asked um, the library for um, an annotated bibliography, like what does the literature say on these topics? I'm about to embark on an evaluation or I'd like to do an evaluation and when I had noticed that there would be an author that kept coming up, I would look in our directory and see if that person is interested in partnering and then write that email, you know, connecting both people to see if they might have, have something together. Um, so even if you haven't been able to join live, um, you're also welcome to ask us questions and we can make some of those connections or make recommendations about which tools might be most useful for you. So we'll wait a couple minutes um, before, before closing to see if any questions come in. And while we're doing that, I'm going to stop sharing and go back to the tip sheet that we have. I mentioned earlier some suggested search terms for these topics. And they have, I've listed a number of them out here with um, Bailey and Mallory's assistance. So you can, can use any of these terms. You can just copy and paste them into the library search box and see what kinds of reports might be available. Um, also, if you've participated in a research practitioner partnership, we'd love to um, look at your report and see about including it in the CDR library so even more people can find your work. Um, thank you, everybody, for being on today, and I, I really wish you luck in finding partnerships and enriching the field with additional um, evaluations as we build the evidence base. If you have any questions, um, please reach out, reach out to the Center for Victim Research. Um, 
You can email ask, ASK at victimresearch.org with your questions. Thank you.